All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, let me just give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to my apostle, to the elders of Great Millstone. Much peace and love to all the brothers doing this work and truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is on First Peter chapter. Chapter 4, verse 17, it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Lord, of the Most High. So, you know, judgment, <clears throat> the time is coming, which is very fastly approaching. You know, see the coronavirus and things of that nature, you know, um, pestilence and America being on lockdown and quarantine. Judgment is beginning. And that lets us know that the elect may be sealed, man, you know. How right is they are, man. So we can get up out of here. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? Right. Because those people that do not obey the words that we preach, they will be um killed, man. You know, and this is all according to the will of Yahweh Shem You know, so it's best. It's best for you to um come back to the Lord before it's too late, because the time is coming. Well. And these shelves is going to be empty. Stomach's going to be empty. You know, there's going to be sedition among men. Everybody going to hate each other, kill each other. You know, this is uh, <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. I mean, 13. It says, therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So, you know, it's a lot of people right now. You know, uh, you know how the people are in the world. You know, they stacking up on paper, on toilet tissue, you know, whatever they can get. You know, canned goods, water. They stocking up because they have no faith, man. You know, they don't have no faith in the Lord. All that stuff can run out. <clears throat> you know, but the scripture says this. I believe it's 30 something. This is um Luke chapter 1 verse 37. It's for, the, for with the most high, nothing shall be impossible. So everything, anything is possible. You know, the Lord has made it rain manna from heaven. You know, and there's many other things that he did. Okay, um, this is uh, Exodus chapter 17, verse 5. It says, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Go on before the people and take that with thee, the elders of Israel and thy rod, and wherewith thou smotest the river, take in thine hand and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Herob, and thou shalt smite the rock, and thou shalt and there shall come water out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. And he called the name of the place Messiah. <clears throat> and Meribah, Meribah, so, um, because of the, ch the chiding of the children of Israel, and because they tempted Yahweh, saying, is Yahweh among us or not? So, the point being in verse six, you know, the Lord smote, caused Moses to smite the rock and water came out of it. And that's just one of many accounts. Look, look at your house shot. He fed, he fed, um, 5,000 men with, let's see, let me see. Let's go to it. This is Matthew chapter 14, verse 16. It says, But Yahweh said unto them, They need not depart. Give them, give ye them to eat. And they sit, and they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fish. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and, and took and took the five loaves and the two fish. 
and looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to, his, to the multitude. And they did eat. All were filled. They took up of the fragments that remained 12 baskets full. And they that had eaten were about 5,000 men beside children, women and children. So these are the miracles that Yahweh Shem did. You know, Yahweh did when he was on the scene. He fed 5,000 men, children and um, women with just five loaves of bread and two fish. <laughs> So who's to say the Lord, you might find, you might run up on the loaf of bread. The Lord can make that one loaf, <laughs> he, make, he can give you more than that. You know, just like the miracle that Yahweh Shah did. He took five loaves and they filled 5,000 men. How he did it? Spiritual powers, man. I don't know the deep detail on how he made so many, so much bread and fish for them to eat. This is just the, the power of y'all, our God, man. So we got to have, we got to have that mindset that the Lord can do anything, man. Anything. The Lord is going, the Lord can make food appear. He can make it rain out of heaven, you know. He can have an angel bring you food, you know. So these people out here in this world, they, they don't got no faith, man. Faithless generation, man. Um, this is Matthew, I'm mean, Slack here. Yeah, Matthew 17 and 17. Then Yahweh shall answer and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring them hither to me. Because Yahweh shall was tired of these people that didn't have no faith, man. And it's the same today. People don't have no faith. They go off of face value. They don't even know what faith is. If it's, if it's not in front of them, they ain't going to believe it, man. They got a corner mind. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So you got to believe it, man. You got to believe that the Lord can do these things. You got to believe in him. You know, Yahweh shot. Many didn't believe in him. You know, and it's, it, and it's not something that's, that's learned. It's a gift that is given to you, man. You know. So that's what we move off. We're, we're, we're building up on faith. We're stocking up on faith, man. We ain't stocking up on food, you know, because the scripture says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven. And all these things shall be added unto you, man. You know, the Lord knows what we need. The Lord knows he, 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 we need food in order to go on about our day, man. You know, he knows that. So the judgment it's beginning and people are losing their minds, you know, Start, it's taking everything off the shelves, man, you know, but that ain't going to stop what's coming. You can't, you, you preparing, you prepared a little too late. Y'all should have been stocking up on faith and not on material things, man. This is Zephaniah chapter one. Verse uh, 15, verse 14, it says, The great day of Yahweh is near, it is near and hasteneth greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. It don't matter how much preparations you're doing, the Lord is still going to kill a lot of people. Verse 15, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trump. A day of the trumpet and the alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. And you people have a lot of sins that you need to have a, you have to make an account for. You know, according to the Lord, you have a lot of sins that you need to make account for. And the only way. The only way that y'all gonna pay for y'all sins is by your blood, man. You know, the Lord is gonna kill you. You know, that hand sanitizer that y'all stocking up on can't wash away your sins. Only the blood of Yahweh Shah could do that. Verse 18, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. So it don't matter what you buy. It don't matter what you got. It don't matter what you drive. None of that is gonna save you from this destruction. 
You know, people think they stock it up on stuff from the, for the so-called coronavirus that they they're going to be exempt from this judgment. But now nah, ain't nobody exempt. Only the elect, man. And the one in the one third for for he shall make us oh, says in Salaki. It says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of, my, of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of them that dwell in the land. So the Lord is going to make a speedy riddance, a speedy destruction of these people that <laughs> Salaki, that are on upon the face of the earth. You know, and we're in the kingdom is near, man. You know, this lets us know that the kingdom of heaven is very near. You know, from what's going on in the earth, this coronavirus is you know, they don't shut down schools. The NBA, what else is next, man? You know, very soon we're going to be under quarantine. We ain't going to be able to leave the houses, man. This is letting us know, man, that hey, the end is near. So with that, man, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh shot by Hashem. Rekakodash, double honors to the apostle, to the elders of great millstone. Much peace and love to all the brothers that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Amen. Now, now everybody want to get scared. Nah, y'all should have been scared when we was out there on them corners. Shalom.